Just got the camera going. Let the people know, back at the old stomping grounds. Neil and I, especially me, rode this place a, a uh, whole lot as a kid. And used to practice out here when I raced cross country in high school a little bit. Uh, this is the ridge, the Golden Eagle Augustine Bernal part. And we're just doing the climb. Basically how it works is you do like a grueling 20 minute climb, and then you get to the top, and then you can go down the back or mess around on top. And it gets old, but there's a lot of trails. There's a long trails, there's not a lot. There's only a few trails, but they're real long. And we're about to start the really tough part of the climb. This bench right here signifies the start of like the last and worst five minutes. And I don't think you guys want to see it. It's basically what you see up there for five minutes. <laughs> so check back in when we're at the top. Here's a little taste. It's the last hundred yards. They tease you, they take you down, and then the climb is just brutal for the last hundred yards. It's like steep. And by the way, as you see, I'm rocking the full face attachment to my helmet. I have a like super DH or whatever by Bell. And I got a GoPro Pro Shot mount for the GoPro. So, oh boy, this is about as hard as I remember it. It's definitely tough. Neil and I just ate like the biggest, most meaty pizza. So we're feeling it. <laughs> it's all good. Neil sided past me. Been playing kind of back and forth out here. How do you think that went? Okay. Yeah. I was telling the people on the way up, we didn't do ourselves any favors with the meal we had. It was like, it's like it just grease. It was, just it was like grease and a little bit of pizza. It was good, but so goal, we're gonna go up this. We're gonna go to the bench out there hop on a trail called Back Nine, go down that, come up a road, potentially check out another trail, and then come back and go down Front Nine and meet back at the car. Should be about two hours from here till the end, maybe a little less. Let's get after it. It's amazing what that little break did. I feel like I'm just starting again. A little more nauseous, but otherwise, yeah, recovery is quick. And that's what it's all about, heart rate control. A little rock garden. I should not. There was a second there, I left it up to chance. He'll shift it up. That was actually pretty gnarly. This dirt is really similar to our parents' place. It's like kind of gravelly, rocky to no end. 
and on mountain bikes it's not so bad it's a little choppy at times but kind of overall good dirt bikes stuff sucks it gets torn up quick and as you skipping all over the place which is scary when you got all that weight and all that momentum oh, you guys don't want to see this right? we got a little sheep party somewhere up here Holy smokes. Oh boy. Hi puppy. How's it going? So let's go up the hill now. Go on. Just straight up. It's okay, sheep. So here's a little like intermittent connector. Pretty fun. Kind of short, but see the bathtub's still there. Cool. Yeah, sheep are cool. All right, I'll follow you. Oh, more sheep. Fellas, ladies. Just go, they'll move. Ah, they'll, there's <laughs> Neil's a shepherd. Neil, you're not the wolf. Dream on, I'm the wolf. I like how some of them just book it. Oh, that's like a brown sheep. Dude, sheep running, this is like the best day of my life. Okay, that one just talked. Oh, what is that rock? Dude, there's like a cool little switch rack run through here. No, I mean, there. that's new. Ooh. Yeah. Right. I think I've been left and it's just because Yeah, it's like not fun. Yeah. So even though it doesn't climb super well, I feel good. Yeah. That's good. I still like my pedals like deep stuff, you know? Yeah. Probably not much, dude. I hear a lot of good things about that bike. Yeah, but at some point it's like you're 
you shouldn't compare yourself against cross country bikes. That's silly, you know. Compare yourself against enduro bikes. Well, you can compare yourself against like the best climbers, right? I don't. I compare myself against the people in my class who are, you know, like the best enduro climbers. It'd be unfair. Totally. Even just this little, this little patch would be like the best MX track in the world. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like the infamous bench, and you can actually see our, ho our house where we grew up. Come here. We need a little water. Yeah, that's cool. So, we're gonna go find some black diamond that lets out near my high school. Basically, we're gonna have to reclimb up everything and then climb back down it, but it should be chill. Really windy, holy smokes. Ah, wrong gear. So, there's a little single track through the woods here. What's up? Yeah. Kind of a stupid thing. Yep, still recording. Oh, lost my footing there. <laughs> I had my seat up and it kind of popped my feet off. So we did miss it. It was right back there. It was that down thing. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just back and to the left. Cool. All right, well, so this is Cordet or Corday Trail, I guess. Never done it. We ran out it a lot, and I think this is new. Maybe it was illegal, and they kind of, they did a thing where first they cracked down way too hard, and then I think they sort of were like, okay, we'll give them something just so they stop making illegal stuff. Yeah. So Neil's gonna lead. I'm gonna open my suspension a little bit. I don't know if you're supposed to do this as often as I do, but I do this quite a bit. All right, we're on it apparently. So just keep going. Worst comes to worst, we gotta climb up this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a super tech on the way up. All right, well, you can lead. There's still, I guess. Ooh. So far, this is not a black diamond, but maybe it's technical. That was cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this isn't that fun. Maybe we turn around before we commit too much. What's up? You wanna do it? Yeah. Okay. So far, I would not recommend <laughs> just because you're we're gonna have to climb back up this.
Well, this was a bit of a letdown. This is a black diamond, according to Trail Forks. So maybe we were just done very dirty by somebody on the internet. It's like fun, I guess. I came in a little hot there. It's <laughs> good using me. Want to turn around? What? I don't know. <laughs> there were a couple. All right, we we'll go faster. <sighs> there were a couple parts that I think are gonna give us some breathies. It's like fun, but no, this is this is not worth having to climb back up this. Yeah. Well, I say we just turn around. I'm curious to know what's popped out. I know. Well, right now we're near like. I don't know. I think we're more than halfway down. Really? I think so. All right, well, let's go back. All right, well, that was most of Cordette Trail. <laughs> Y'all aren't going to see the whole thing because I don't want to climb. It must be. They probably tied it into like Foothill Knolls or like the Gluna Oaks. You know where that weird Native American thing is? Yeah. Bet it starts there. Uh, yeah. I think it's the same elevation change. I think it's going to be a rough climb. <laughs> I'll check in. For all curious parties, this sucks going up. Wow. It's a montage of heavy breathing. So about a year later, we made it up. That was really long. Feels nice up here though. Well, that was rough. Yeah. Hurts. Yeah. Let me, uh, I wanted to my seat. Next time a little more Dang it, stupid. I have this scab still and I just stabbed it with a the uh, zip tie I have to mount the stupid camera. Ow! Ow! God, that hurts so bad. That was rough. That was super hard. Oh, gosh darn it. I felt better at the end, though, for some reason. Well, I think yeah. the pizza's getting through and yeah. we're warmed up. My hand hurts. Ouch. All right, well, we'll, we'll hit back nine. We'll just do the normal ride. That was pretty quick. Like a 20 minute, 30 minute detour. Crying a little bit. That hurts super bad. All right, hold on.